Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Excuse me, sir, I've been doing my schoolwork for the past two hours, so excuse that. I feel about, you know, two hours, I don't know. Anyway, guys, please subscribe and like before we get this video, guys. But you already know what it's about. It's about the rebuild of Celtic, the end of an era, the end of 10. It's gone. Yesterday, uh, Sunday's performance against United was another another performance that proves that John Kennedy should not be in charge or should I say President Kennedy <laughs> um, you know it's just been another it's been a one a, one of the most shocking scenes I've ever seen in my life you know I, I, I've even seen you know the, the Ronnie Dyle either you know I thought that was a wee bit bad but no not compared to that season never um, it's just it's just atrocious you know we're going to talk about some um, who should maybe some rumours, transfer rumours coming along? Um, what should they rebuild? What should we look for? And some replacements that are coming up for Celtic. Please subscribe, my guys, and here comes the intro. Alright, guys, first up is Jordan Larson. Um, he is, of course, the son. He is the. His. Um, it, you probably know Henrik Larsson, that's Henrik Larsson's son. Has 10 goals and 5 assists in his last 20 games for a Russian side. Spartak Moscow has been linked with Celtic for a while now as a long time replacement for obviously Edward, who is obviously on the, look, on, the, on the move in the summer. I think it's Arsenal, I think, I don't know, or Leicester, I'm not too sure. Um, could be a good signing striker, could be, or it could be another, it could be another Duffy, as people would say. Uh, Romain Perrud is a French left back who plays for Elite Un side Stad Berust. Berutus, I think. The 23 year old is linked with many big English clubs like Leeds. He'll be a starter slash backup for Greg Taylor after Waxhaw finishes loan and heads back to AC Milan. Um, yeah, Kyle, number three. Kyle Joseph is a 19 year old Scottish centre forward. I know centre forward. Um, uh, centre forward. Um, he plays for English side Wigan Athletic and his contract is on the summer. He's five goals and one assist um, and 14 appearances for the League One side. He's an exciting prospect and would be a, a player to follow in the footsteps of previous class Celtic strikers. But Celtic have will have competition for the sign as Rangers, Tottenham and Arsenal are also, uh, also looking to sign him. So another, another uh, centre forward, could we sign him? Don't know. And number four, Thomas Robert plays for fourth fourth um place um Scottish League One side Air Jones FC. He's been on a tryout side over the last fortnight and has been linked with big clubs including Celtic, Rangers and Aberdeen. The Frenchman has proved um himself with three goals and five assists in nine games and it's only it's only twenty years of it's only twenty years of age. What it's a bargain as well, eh? I think yeah. His contract some someone personally I think he'd be a top class sign, yeah. I, I, I think you would. I really think I would. So I've I've, I've obviously wrote that. I wrote this last night. Um, I'll show you a picture here. Boom. There it is. There. Um, I'll show you pictures that all of them around the screen. Um, well, that's us back to the beginning. Again. So the rebuild begins, and where to begin? Goalkeeper. We need a Foster type keeper. No messing about. No, can't can't do nothing for eighty nine minutes. But um. But it delivers when we call upon, you know. Barkas was a big gamble at 4.5 million. That didn't work. Bain hit and miss and Hazard is still a learning prospect, but I do think he's a really good goalkeeper, Hazard, so, uh, Hazard so far anyway. Right back, Frimpong's away, Elhamid's away, uh, Ralston, question mark, you know, could he be the one right back? Can we afford Kenny? Would he want to stay? We need a, back, we need a right back like Tierney. I know right, Tierney was a right back, but you know what I mean, like somebody like that, you know. Left back, Lacks out, personally not for me. Taylor tries, but he gets crucified because he's not a Tierney. Um, you know, people should stop. You know, we're never going to get another Tierney. It's uh, it's not going to happen. So we just need to look for a, a decent left back that's going to be good for us, you know. Who knows the Scottish game, as I say. Um, centre back, are you? I'd be amazed if he kept him or he decided to stay. If not, it's got to be Welsh. He's been a top class, so when he's been put in there, Welsh, he's done He's done the job. Um, I'll give him, you know, I'll, I'll be so amazed if Ayer stays in summer. I'll be so happy. Um, so happy, but I know it's not going to happen. Julian, by the way things are going, might, you might chuck <laughs> might chuck my choice out of the pram and want, uh, want away. Uh, that leaves a, a returning Hendry. Um, Julian, because uh, 
we remember seeing what he's got. Duffy, the quicker he goes back, the bet the to Brighton, the better. We move on for that. Uh, centre mid now, McGregor and Sorrell. Uh, Sorrell, yeah. Personally, Brown is done. Uh, uh, now you just got to watch him trying to chase back, and he's not got it. He's not got it now. We see the emergence of youth players like your Cot, your Connells, your Henderson, with Cham out on loan, and by all accounts, feeling miserable. Time for him to move on. Right mid, since Forrest has come back for a long, from a long injury, he should be fresh for the next season. But still needs competition. Maybe that's um, is that going to be a returning Shrevd, Martin Shrevd, um, the same as Hendry. Not really seeing what he can do. Um, left mid, don't like a right foot, a right footed player playing left. Left, you know, we need that. We need a left winger. Johnson's too lightweight. He needs to train more. You know, um, Moy honestly, um, heading back. Maybe, but I don't think he's the answer. It's up for grabs for Cam. Uh, it's up for grabs, sorry. Cam now, we've got Turnbull. Definitely gets an odd. Christie, maybe. Or does he go if he um, go left if he stays? Rogic, maybe, but struggles out wide. Striker now. <laughs> one of the, the... One of the... You know, we've talked about it all season. Edwards out the picture. He'll be gone. Uh, Kamala, nope. Ayeti, nope. Griffiths, if you could stay fat, he could be the main man again like he was maybe last season with Edward or, you know, something else up there, but uh, feeling feeling that he'll probably be moved on. Yeah, he'll probably move on. Replacements now, when we want a replacements now for Celtic. Depends on who is staying and going. Um, goalkeeper, I'm going to pass because who is available at the moment, you know, who is actually available to go to Celtic. Centre back, needs somebody who knows the Scottish game and doesn't mess about. Um, you know, you like some maybe Gallica from Marwell, a Paul Elliott type centre back, hard to find. Um, both right back, left back, who is available again. Uh, centre mid, maybe may need another defensive mid in case of injury. injury. Uh, right mid, left mid, um, right wing or and left wing need cover, definitely cover there for injuries or COVID. Um, striker, how much is it to spend? You know, that's the thing. Now the main main thing for this rebuild this summer, Beth, um, the manager, we're better with we're better with President Kennedy than what the version we have now. Um, you know there've been many names. You know you got your Benitez, your Martinez, and Maloney, Eddie Howe. The list goes on. Time to go down the route of not being a Celtic man, like the one Janssen appointment, totally out of nowhere. You know he came from I think it was PSV, um, and also Henrik Larsson I think came from there as well, and then signed him as well when they got there. You know they stopped Rangers winning the ten. Changes are coming, um, and need to hit the ground running. Who who can we get from all those above? That is the question mark. I'd like to ask you guys as well at home. Who would you like to see? Who to Celtic afford? Comment down below, guys. Have comments on, of course. Please comment down below. Who jank Celtic will get out that list? Maybe all. I don't think so. Uh, but we'll move on for some more transfer news. Um, I think I mentioned that. Uh, is it there? Yes, number three, Kyle Joseph. Um, Celtic have offered him, offered a long time deal ahead of the expiry of his Wigan contract according to Football Insider, just a wee, um, a wee note about that, is the football, re is the Celtic rebuild going behind, in, is it behind the scenes, is that behind the scenes of the rebuild? Um, journalist, Nicol uh, another journalist has claimed that Celtic's number one target for a managerial position is Manchester City under 23's coach Enzo Mar. Mariska, Mariska, personally, not my first, second, or third, or even fourth choice, but is this the route Celtic are going to take? Maybe, maybe, we don't know, it could be, it could be the route we're going, but, um, yeah, that seems to be all we can talk about, really, uh, I'm going to talk about, um, a bit more about what's happened in Celtic season to get to this point, we've also some breaking news coming in that, Angry Nicola Sturgeon says she needs assurance um, before giving the green light to sanction Celtic class with Rangers late in this month. Why should Celtic get punished for the events that that happened at the weekend? Again, shows the, the double standards within government and media. It, it just really does. It really does. Um, it's, it's totally that's ridiculous for that. That's really ridiculous. Uh, right, let's go back. <laughs> it's hard going back. To the start of the season, we won 5 1 against Hampton. We should be doing that, I'll see. You know, Edward putting back night hat trick. Um, we, we dropped our first point of the season away to Kilmarnock. Bolly goalless Spain. That was the start of it. And then we went a week later to Ferenc Faros. 
another one where Len says players don't want to be here. Apparently the board wanted to keep him, so there you go. Um, you know, it doesn't play a right and nice striker up front, three strikers on the bench. Uh, I can go on. Um, then we move on to September, we, we scrape through to get Europe League um, group stages, we get the group of death. Well, we looked at Sparta Prague and we think if we beat them twice and maybe get a result of a lull, we could finish second and qualify for the knockout stage. Well, how that went through, eh, banter. Eh, we lo not only we lose 4-1 at our home ground once, we lose 4-1 twice at in Prague. What a way, what, what a way in Europe that was. Um, we, came, we bottled a 2-0 lead away in Milan. Um, we bought a 2 0 lead away in Lull. <sighs> can go on and then November we we'll lose in the League Cup in Celtic Park, Ross County. Ross County at home by 2 0. And then the, uh, we drop points in Johnson, more points. December we pick up a few points. Uh, January we we'll lose to St Mirren for uh, Celtic Park. Um, we've not lost to St Mirren at Celtic Park in 30 years. Another record broken. Not the way we want to go that way, right? Record. Um, and then February, the main point, we lose to Ross County only once, twice. Wayne Dingwall, 1-0 defeat. That was the end for Lennon. It should have been months ago, but that was the end. The next day, Lennon was gone. Um, John Kennedy was in charge. Uh, first ch ch uh, first um, thing for taking charge was managing the side against Aberdeen. We won 1-0, not convincingly, of course. Same way we played with Lennon. Um, and then we basically handed the title to Rangers. Um, uh, that 0 0 defeat at the weekend to 0 0 defeat. Um, draw to Dundee United, just put it in the coffin like we've done all season. It just sealed it really. Handed Rangers a title, just handed it in their, in their hands. Um, it's, it's, it's just the end of 10. That's how it is. You know, congratulations on Rangers winning their first ever title as a new club in the Premiership. Congratulations on that. But. For it to get to that, you know, it's just embarrassing, you know, well, why has it got to come to this? We should be winning the 10 in a row. If it was Celtic won 10 in a row, it should have been over, over for Celtic Rangers. Rangers, that's utter embarrassment for Rangers, they're behind under the bed for years for that, never mind weeks, you know? The amount, money, the amount of money Celtic should have spent in the summer to get 10 in a row, the amount of money they got back for 10 in a row. And this is what they got, they just, they just threw the money for our season tickets right back in their face. It, it's just, but it, that's the way it went, you know? It's just the way this season's gone. It's um, utter embarrassing. It's pointy beyond embarrassing, as I say. It's, I, I'd probably say embarrassing too much this season. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I try to film with Lewis this, this video. Um, if you're watching on a Celtic Mind podcast, please subscribe and like. And of course, if you're watching on the main channel, please subscribe and like as well. I try to record it with Lewis. Um, Mike didn't work, so um, we're just recording by ourselves, me. Um, and that's just a 12 minute video on what is at the end of 10. That's it. It's gone. Rangers have won their champions. The rebuild starts now, of course, I discussed that. Uh, if you get any comments down below, what should Celtic do? Please comment down below on both channels. Subscribe on both channels and I'll see you guys for another video on Thursday. we two videos going out with the new list 7, another video with me Lewis. It's the, I'll not, I'll not, I'll not um, spoil it for you, but I'm just telling you it's outside, that's all I'm saying. Um, and it's not football either. Um, and then we've got a football related video, Celtic video, we're going to talk about how the 10 was lost. Uh, we'll discuss that with Lewis on Thursday as well. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.